Good morning, guys. Hey, how have you guys been? I know it's been a while, but I have been really busy. I'm actually working now. It's early Friday morning. So before I start the video, I want to say if you guys can send your dollar to Cash App Shell Living Green One um, so that we can have the drawing. And as I stated before, um, I will start doing the drawings on Saturday mornings. So it has been going on. I believe it's maybe week 19 now of the Cash App drawing. So we have been blessing someone for 19 weeks and that is very it's awesome like very awesome um i do want to catch up a little bit um with what's been going on with me um my best friend came into town and she was here about a week we did have a lot of fun things we did every day and um like we went to the beach we went to a crab fest we went to the carnival fair. Um, we did a lot. But I did not do any footage because I have actually been kind of overwhelmed with everything that has been going on. And I just need a break. So I haven't really... It, it would have been some great footage, but... I just needed time, you know? So um, she did go home and um, I had I wasn't able to study as much because I'm studying for my MLO, my mortgage loan originator, to take the test. Um, so I this week picked back up, well, the last few days, picked back up studying. So I get, go to work from eight to 4.30 and I get off and I study. And I usually study until my eyes are tired or I'm ready to go to bed. So like yesterday, my husband called and, I mean, he brought me a camera, a dash cam because we were in like a kind of um, side hit, side collision. We were leaving the carnival and we were driving and I literally was looking out of my rear view mirror and I could see the other vehicle and I'm like, he's gonna hit us. But they didn't hear me, my husband and my friend because the music was up a little bit. And I literally was watching out the mirror and I was looking at the line of the road and then I could see the car. And so the car kind of side, side swiped us. So the police um, came out and, um, well, we called the police first. They came out. And they said, who's the driver of the vehicle? And we were like pointing to my husband and they said, okay, who's the driver to the other vehicle? We pointed to the other guy. So then he said, okay, so what happened? So we all started to talking at the same time. And then he was like, okay, y'all go back to the truck. No, go, go sit in y'all truck. So we went in our truck and he talked to the other guy first. After he talked to the guy, then he came back and he was like, um, let's get on out the road and let's go to the nearest store, which was a CVS. So we drove up to, oh, he was like, he'll talk to us or whatever. So we drove to the CVS and then he, um, he was like, well, I'm not going to do a report on this and... The damage is less than $500, so y'all just need to collect each other's information. And we were like, he was like, since we can't tell who's at fault. And we were like, well, you didn't even talk to us. He clearly talked to the person in the other vehicle, but didn't take a statement from us or get a report from us. So that was that. He wouldn't do it. He said, basically... We can't tell who hit who. And we were I was very upset because I'm like, you talked to the other person first and didn't even talk to us. And we're the ones who even who called. Like, how do you do that? Like, how are you only taking one side of the story? So that was the thing. Okay. Um, 
next thing like it's been nothing but issues this whole week but i've been good with them so then we you know the house that we're getting that we're going to do a complete rehab on um actually the guys who are selling the house to us we didn't feel comfortable because there's a guy in there they call a squatter which his mother passed away in 2005 and he's been in the house since 2005 so i'm like we went over there twice and was telling him that you know we're gonna come over and start clearing the stuff out of the house and he's like that's his house and his mom left and we're like no um you didn't pay property taxes on yes she died in 2005 but you guys haven't paid property taxes since 2005 so the county takes the house and then i said well you know your mom left this why wouldn't why didn't you take care of it like you have no utilities on you didn't try to at least keep the house up. The house is in terrible condition. And he's like, yes, I paid, I've been paying property taxes. I've been paying property taxes. And I'm like, no. So I contacted the seller and I'm like, okay, you're gonna have to file an eviction first. You know, like we're not gonna take possession of the property and then have to go two hours away to court or to file the paperwork. So you ha you need to do that before, you know, we get the property. So he did say that he was going to go down to the courthouse today and do the paperwork. So that's that's issue number two. Um, issue number three would be, um, okay, so you guys know what happened to Journey um, breaking down in Wyoming, which is 2,000 miles away from here. So this is like long and crazy, like, <laughs> I can't believe it. But I've been having problems getting Journey here and I didn't want to pay a large amount of money because Journey is, I'm not going to be driving Journey. I made up in my mind to get another vehicle. <sighs> so I've been, you know, once I put in one inquiry, hundreds started calling me and texting me. So there was this one particular company that I was just going to work through. So originally I got a quote for them for $750 and I'm like, okay, that's good. So I signed that contract and then they were like, they were pick up the vehicle that it was guaranteed they'd pick up the vehicle. So then they messaged me back later and was like, well, um, I think it was going to be $1,500 because everybody was putting their bid up on the board. And I was just like, that's crazy you know but i was like oh, i'll pay 15 i didn't want to but i first i was like i didn't have it then i was like okay i guess i'll pay it because my husband was like you can pay the 15 and then once you get journey you can resell and get some of your money back and i was like okay that's a good idea so i just was like letting things die down a little bit with all the companies going on there and, and bidding and putting high numbers on, which I didn't ask them to do. So then I recently contacted the company back and was like, okay, um, I'm gonna get my vehicle. So she told me uh, $1,700 and I was like, how did it go up? It's 17 now, you originally, you had told me $1,500. So I'm like, I don't really wanna pay the 17, but I guess I will. So I was like, okay. So she sent the contract and I kept saying, I don't have no more than 17. I'm not going to pay more than 17. The vehicle is not, you know, in great working condition to be trying to um, get more than that. And she was like, okay, okay. It won't be more than that. It won't be more than that. And I said, okay. So I signed the contract. So then um, they picked the vehicle up and I, I just felt they were kind of sketchy. So I called the um, company um, the dealership that had been holding my car and I was like um did they pick the vehicle up and the dealership was like yes and I was like okay so then um they sent me the shippers sent me and told me to pay for a hundred dollar initial payment or deposit and I said okay once I found out they picked the vehicle up I'm like okay I'll send it to them so then I, I told her, okay. And then she was like, well, how do you want to do your payment method? Which now knowing what I know, I should have paid it by credit card, but I did not. Cause I was like, I didn't want to give that information online. So I ended up, 
I was going to pay by Zelle. So then they were like, well, you need to, the driver wants 700. The driver wanted the full amount, but we talked him down and asked, can he just take half of the payment? And I'm like, okay, I guess. Um, but I made sure I asked several times if I give you the 700 instead of the 400, when the driver gets here, I'm still only going to have to pay him a thousand dollars cash. Right. And she kept saying yes, over and over. Mind you, all these um, communications was by text or email. So I have them. It wasn't verbal. Thank God. Um, so I send the 700. And this is the vehicle is already en route. So then maybe some hours later, she was like, okay, well, I need you to sign um, a contract change form. And come on, even the name contract change. She was like, sign this contract change form. It's just saying that you paid your initial payment so that the driver can see you paid your initial payment. And I was like, why do I need to do that when you told me that I had to send a screenshot, which I did. I sent a screenshot of my payment. She was just like, just if you just once you do that or whatever, the, the vehicle will be here. This was, they picked it up on mon Monday and it was supposed to be here Wednesday. Today's Friday. It's still not here. So I was like, okay. So I went in and I looked at the contract and it said um, it had $2,000 on there. So they tried to raise the price from $1,700 to $2,000 and I wouldn't sign it. So then we went back and forth with that for a while. And I was like, well, you need to change the contract back saying that I only need to pay $1,000 to the driver when he gets here, not $1,300. And she was just like, no, it's not saying that. It's saying that um, you paid the deposit. And I was like, no, it's not. It's saying you're, you're, you're raising the price. And when the driver gets here, I have to pay him more money. I said, so when the driver gets here, I'm only going to have to pay him $1,000. He's not going to be expecting no more money. And she was like, yes. She kept saying that over and over. She was like, all you have to pay is $1,000 when the driver gets here. That's it. So I wouldn't sign it. And so then she sent me a, another text or email saying, you know, if you don't sign it, then you won't get your, you won't get your vehicle. And... And I was like, why? You know, I've already signed the contract with you guys. Why do I need to sign another contract? She's like, well, the driver's not going to deliver it if, if he doesn't get it. And I was like, okay, whatever. I was like, I'm not signing it. When the driver gets here, I will give him his $1,000. Then she was like, well, really? I only charged you $100 for my fees. I should have charged you $300. And since you're not since there is a delay with you signing the pay, the new contract or no, since there's a de delay with you signing the paperwork, we're charging an extra hundred dollars for that. And then she was like, well, the car was, um, a larger vehicle, it's a minivan and it's over a thousand miles. So we charge a $200 extra for that. And I was like, no, because you got, when I first filled out the form and even on the contract, it has, the address for pickup, the address for delivery. It has the type of vehicle it is. It has all of that. So they've been doing this since day one over a month and a half ago. And they would have had to know all the information for the driver to even accept the assignment to go pick up my vehicle. So she just kept saying lie after lie after lie. So all these lies are starting to pile up. And then she was like, well, we're going to charge you do double. And you need something, Joe? Yeah. What? Huh, okay. And then she was like, well, um, she was like the, about charging double. And then they were like, well, we're going to put your vehicle in storage and you're still going to be responsible for the $1,300 and paying all the storage fees. And I was like, $1,300? You just, you told me all I had to give was a thousand. So, um, she was like, well, and I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to get a lawyer because um, that's not right. Like I signed a contract and y'all basically f are, you know, doing fraudulent activity, car theft, like a lot of things wrong. And she was like, okay, yeah. And when you get a lawyer, make sure to give them the contract. And I'm like, okay, but the contract clearly says $1,700, not 2000. And the money will be paid upon delivery. Y'all are holding my car 
because I refused to sign the new contract, but I've already signed one and I paid you out of pocket. So my car should have been here. It should have been an issue that I had to discuss with the driver when he got here, not holding my vehicle beforehand. She was like that they were going to send me the place of the storage um, before um, the night was over with. Still haven't received where my car is. They're supposed to send me where storage facility was in. So then she was like, you can speak to my manager if you want. And I'm like, okay, well, give your manager my email or my um, phone number. Because I'm not going to have any verbal communication with this company, period. So I, e and sh she sent me his information. So I emailed him. I haven't heard a response back from the manager yet. I'm not going to talk to them on the phone. Y'all need to email me or text me at this point because I have no trust in you. And so right now, I don't know where Journey is. I probably won't get Journey unless I pay them their $1,300 and of now storage fees if they even put it in a storage yet. I don't know. But yeah, I think that I probably should get a lawyer um, to get my money back. And also so that they won't do this to anybody else. Like, it's just has been very stressful for me. But, um... That's about it. Like I said, I've been busy studying and working and I haven't done much and I plan on not doing too much more. Maybe a good month, maybe enough for me and I can take the test. But I plan on taking the beginning of the year, but it's like I need to get it out the way because I, I want to start doing stuff. I need to free up some time. But if you guys have any advice on the car situation, let me know um because i really just don't know what to do at this point i just wanted to feel you guys in and i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and a wonderful weekend don't forget to send your dollar to cash app um shell living green one um so that we can bless someone else tomorrow all right guys until next time i will talk to you later Bye bye